Okay, guys, uh, we're here where we left off, and, um, <clears throat> we got the, the guitar, and, um, it's looking good, and, uh, we need to make the frets, and this will, will is actually, like, super easy, um, so, yeah, I'm gonna pause the recording while I'm making this. But I'll show you how you set it up and that stuff. So let's go Shift S, cursor to selected, and add a cube. And it's a bit too big. And let's get along the Y axis. Move it over. We should move this all the way down to there. And uh, it's going a bit slower because of the recorder. But uh, you know what? We gotta deal with it and it'll be fine. So, yeah, just the Scale, move around, you know, you know the drill. Make it into the right position. Oh, yeah, it's still kind of big on the Z axis. Go into side view. We gotta move this up actually. Sorry, what kind of off the screen there or from your view? And um, tab. Go into edit mode and let's grab these. Or we could have just gone into face select. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and I pressed the wrong button there. Uh, scale along X. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, let's delete this face on the back, okay, and modifiers panel, uh, subdivision surface, and we gotta add two loop cuts, scale along X. Okay, now let's press Alt and then right click and then Alt Shift, right click. So we select both of those. Scale along Y. And just get that looking good. Maybe it's a bit flatter. Who knows? If anyone wants to know, it would probably be me, because I actually own the guitar, but, uh, you know what, something, uh, oh, now it's good, I just thought they merged together because of auto-merge editing, but no, it didn't, uh, just scale along X to zero, because it was being strange there, and I don't know why it um, decided to have the little crookedness in it. Now, um, this is where it gets pretty bland. Um, or, yeah, I guess you could call it bland. Uh, let's just turn this down to zero and make it like two. Um, now, let's just. 
And now I'll make 24 of them. Because there's 24 frets on the guitar. And now we have to move them all around, which is a pain in the bum. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so, you know, then you just apply it and then move it around. So I'll just stop this. Okay, so, um, uh, I made these frets and they're looking nice, right? And, uh, hopefully you made yours too. Alright, and, um, I noticed that the fretboard is actually really thin. So, and that the neck is actually up too high. So we gotta select, we want to select the neck, the fretboard, and the frets all together so we can move them all together at the same time, right? Okay, now let's just move the frets up so that we can adjust this. Easily. All right. I I actually think that's getting too thick now. Scale on Z. Side view, just three on your numpad, just so you guys know. And grab the frets and move them down. Okay, that's looking good. And another thing that we have to do with the neck and the fretboard and stuff, we have to actually make a rotation because um, the neck has a bit of rotation in it so that it's easier to play. So uh, I put my 3D cursor there and now we're going to pivot point and it's going to be a 3D cursor. So now we're going to rotate around there so it'll be like that, right? So we just want it to be a bit, so let's rotate it and um, probably about there, that'll be good. Mm. Um, yeah, that that's good. All right. Now, um, oh, there's another thing that I, um, wanted to remember to do. Now I forget it. Um, let's name, oh yeah, right, now, now I remember it. It all comes back to me now. Uh, I turned off num lock. Okay, let's go back into top view, which is seven on your notepad, and we gotta grab this screw because when we were putting this in, I didn't put it in the right spot. And uh, because we had all of these mirror modifiers, we can just grab it and put it over there. And all of the other ones will be in the exact same spot, which is awesome. So that saves us a lot of time. And um, yeah. Um, I don't think there's anything else to do in this part of the tutorial, but uh, next we'll be going over the bridge, and that'll be quite difficult, and uh, hopefully quite in-depth, so... Yeah.